I'm Brakti Hawa Brakatha, Yahaw Shah, Brakti Hawa Brakatha, Yahaw Shah, Bashan, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Fried Chicken in the Philippines. What you are witnessing is a fried chicken establishment located in the Philippines. And on yesterday, my office mate informed me that this fried chicken spot was a segment on the Steve Harvey show. And it was said that this fried chicken spot was better than KFC, Popeyes, and Bojangles. And the reason why, because these people are Israelites whose father's lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Only Jake can prepare great fried chicken. And again, this spot is known to have great fried chicken. As you can see, Mutazarab. Okay. Remember, we were scattered throughout the four corners of the world. This establishment is located in Kazan City. And according to Wikipedia, Kazan City, also known as the city of Kazan and QC, is the most populous city in the Philippines. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 2,960,048 people. Quezon City is known for its culture, entertainment industry, and media, and is aptly called the City of Stars. It is also known for its commerce, education, research, technology, politics, tourism, art, and sports. The reason why Kazan, Kazan City is called the City of Stars, known for its culture, entertainment, and sports, is because Kazan houses Jake. America is known for its culture, entertainment and sports and Los Angeles is called the city of stars and America houses Israelites so just like Israelites made America great Israelites has made Kazan city great third source worldawayfromhome.com the indigenous black Filipinos growing up in the U.S., I often heard East Asians refer to Southeast Asians, more so Filipinos, as the blacks of Asia, but never really thought much of it. I thought it had more to do with many Filipino Americans' affinity towards black culture rather than their physical appearance, but after visiting the Philippines and seeing the indigenous people, it made a lot more sense. The indigenous people of the Philippines, known as the Ita, are a group related to the Negrito, Spanish term for a little black person, ethnic group occupying parts of the Andaman Islands and in India, Malaysia, and Thailand. They are characterized by their short statue, kinky hair, and dark skin. The Negritos are thought to be one of the earliest inhabitants of the Philippines. Now we know according to scripture that the earth is only 12,000 years old. But as you can see, an Ita on the um, on the love and Ita, okay.
let's get that um, fourth source travelnoir.com Ita, the African natives, Israelites who originally inhabited the Philippines. The Ita people are what's known to be the original black race who inhabited the remote and mountainous regions of Luzon, the Philippines, before the Austronesian migrations of the Malaysians and Asian group. The Ita were called Negritos during Spanish colonial rule. They are comprised of approximately 25 different ethno-linguistic groups widely scattered throughout the archipelago. So like an archipelago totally an estimated 15,000 people. The Gritos are described as people who are dark to very dark brown skin with curly to kinky afro textured hair. Some Itas reportedly had lighter hair color, what we would consider in modern day as a blonde. Another key feature, according to historians, is their small statures and small frames. I first visited the Ita in December of 2008 while visiting my parents and sister who were living in Manila. Many of the Ita reside in Pampanga, a city about two hours from Manila. I was shocked by the amount of love my brother, sister, father, and I received when we entered their village for the first time. Everywhere we went, people came out of their homes to guide us around, shake our hands, and offer us food. We heard shouts of, Obama, Obama, everywhere we went. At the time, it was their way of saying my brother, sister. And as you can see, these are Jake's. Okay. These are Jake's. Israelites. 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 Identified as Ita. Israelites, look at this, Israelites with um, bandanas, Israelites, right, each of people typically don't grow over four feet and eight inches. All right. Now, Noir, okay? As you can see, this is an Israelite. Damn, they look like my auntie. All right. Um, let's go to this source. Now, I did a video through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, uh, a couple of days back and it was going into historians uncover photos showing human zoos from 200 years ago right and anyway when i came across this picture a young filipino girl is pictured sitting on a wooden bench in an enclosure in coney island new york in another horrifying 1906 exhibit the spirit said she was an Israelite. Now it makes sense. Days later, all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakwadash. Okay. Let's get out. And when we look up the term, Noir, right? Noir. It goes into what? 
is from Latin niger, see negro, okay? Noir goes into niger, see negro. Eta, the African natives who originally inhabit the Philippines, all right? So based on the lineage, all right, of their fathers, these are Israelites. 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 Israelites, okay, okay, Israelites. And that's pretty much it. So let's get some pre-subs. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if you will not listen unto the voice of of the Lord Yahweh, your power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses, referring to indignation, meaning righteous anger, shall come on you and overtake you. Let's jump down. The Lord Yahweh shall cause you to be smitten before your enemies, you shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth okay and within this process our people went to the philippines okay let's jump down to 64. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter you among all people and equate the island of the Philippines as well from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there you shall serve other gods which neither you nor your fathers have known even wood and stone. All right. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 11. Let's start at 10. And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, referring to Yahweh Shah, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To him shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. And we are in this time frame from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And you can, so like, and you can associate the Philippines as well. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. The exiles of Israel, it's like him, I'm getting excited. The exiles of Israel, okay, Israelites, Israelite foreigners, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Going back into what the curse of Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, Israelite foreigners, looking like these other nations. Because why? We were scattered. And we began to have sex with these women of other nations. And therefore, our kids began to look like these other nations. Okay? Within a process of, of time. Okay? 
After this, I beheld and lowered a great multitude, which no man can number, of all nations, Israelites, and kindreds, Israelites, and people, Israelites, and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. All right? So, the reason why this chicken spot has been said to be better than Popeye's and KFC and Bojangles is because these are Israelites. And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, the Etas, all right, are Israelites. And they have been classified as what? The African natives who originally inhabited the Philippines, okay? They got there first, all right? Because of the curses, Etas, all right? Who more than likely are so-called Negroes, um, so-called Jamaicans, or so-called Haitians. Lord, will you edify Shalom?